flying saucer. Okay, this is uh, my setup here. I have here my um, dual channel oscillator attached to the coil of the with the two diodes um, releasing the radiant energy and it's connected to that bulb right there and but we're gonna test this coil right here for internal right inside of the coil we're gonna put <clears throat> this tool that I have uh, created it's got a, a rare earth magnet inside and we're just gonna pulse that coil and go inside of it and you'll see it rotating faster than a motor as I accelerate the pulses the motor little motor so but it's, it has it has the same setup it's got the LED and the 120 turns of um, 33 gauge very fine wire and we're gonna go in and the rotation also demonstrates that there is no collapsing field inside there it's just an opposite magnetic field that comes up at the times that the pulsations our pulsations drop to zero at zero time is when they come up so here now this is the pulsations we're gonna have the lights on and the same thing as the LED happens here the motor will rotate faster as we approach the very center of the coil. We're going slow. We have a full time now. No time for the collapsing field to invert the fields like that. And now it allows us to go. You can see the LED. Actually, the LED is pulsating because there are points when it's up. Remember, when the south is up, that it's not going to lead up. But that's so no time that you see it leave almost full time now it let me go out the LED went off but the motor action keeps going now I, I accelerate here and what we have a steady motor why because it's the predominating outside field the one that we are oscillating pulsating this is the field this is the field nothing happens here Nothing happens, it's just a pulsating field. As we go in, and then we get the pulse again. We can go accelerate down at the center. Now we get LED light as we go up. Okay, um, this is uh, the same motor that we had on, but I had it locked in right now. 
I open the fin and what I'm gonna do here is go inside of the coil while it is pulsating and since it's not rotating it's gonna completely put out the fact that it's the rotating action of the coil what it's inducing the LED to light up so that's not gonna be the case now here uh, it's gonna lead up but it's gonna show us exactly where the radiant field is it's where uh, as we get it out it goes down it fades out and we go down and we have to look at the coil the coil it's not all the way down so we're gonna go all the way up to here and we're gonna get light now as we go out of the coil range inside it will lose um, electricity light now let's start by turning on the pulsation so right here we are in the center of the coil if I accelerate the pulses it's gonna go brighter and then the range is increasing but as I come up it goes down as I come up of the range of the of the coil so it's up to here right here in the in the starting point and in the very center that's where it really lights up and then the the field expands all the way to the to the top of the coil and, and as I decrease the it'll come down the more I accelerate but the, 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 the plenty of light where majority of light is is right in the center of the field now when it turns of course it leads up also but it's due to this fact not because of the motor action or the wire rotating and breaking the cutting the lines of the magnetic field negative this is just induced by radiant energy the way I have set up this um, the way I, I have set up this uh, coil is the same arrangement as this coil right here and I have set up the winding sense direction the same as this coil so the north is pointing up if I put it down like this it won't lit up at all at all so it has to be in the same sense and the, the diode the LED is set up not to be lit up but with the radiant energy so where the positive is supposed to go for normal electricity induction I put the negative the diode is the, um, I put the negative there and the positive where the negative is so it actually it lights up completely now if we get it upside down so here we go we go, I'm gonna turn on the light turn off the light so we see there's no light on blue Just gonna have the light from the pulsating light and we're gonna go in we're gonna accelerate no blue light Up over here so we see there's no no blue light then I go higher no blue light now if I go like this we got blue light defining the the radiant energy field. If we go all the way down, 